<laughs> yeah, these NPCs and their toothpicks. Literally, my dream. Yeah, Tanjiro gets stabbed, and then being the wonderful, sweethearted guy that he is, he just gently puts him to sleep and then makes sure the guy's safe, because Tanjiro loves even his enemies. Yeah, I had to make sure to, you know, drag this guy five feet to the right to make absolutely sure he wouldn't die from these huge attacks, because that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, they really don't leave anything on the table, do they? It just continues to feel so awesome, them fighting side by side like this. It was worth seeing it twice. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Episode 6, Akaza. And again! <laughs> That's fine. I'll watch it 10 times. Hell yeah, clear blue sky. Mugen Train gets derailed. Oh, he actually lost his head as a result of that. I, I think he felt that. I think there was some effect of that attack. Not exactly sure, but I have a feeling. I already got stabbed. <laughs> like five seconds ago. Still! What a way to conceptualize that. The reason why I need to live is so that this guy can, like, sleep soundly at night. Andrew loving even his enemies. I feel like there's another form, com form coming, though. There's another boss form coming. Now that's falling with style. <laughs> Santoro is in pain. But what else is new? I mean, it was awesome, but now's not really the time. Tanjiro was able to successfully bounce off those rocks. <laughs> well, yeah, what else is new? Something tells me he's got a little bit left in the gas tank. Stomach for a leg. Yeah, yeah. Right, you're in charge. <laughs> Do we just become brothers? One of the things I've enjoyed watching most in the show is the growing relationship between Inusuke and Tanjiro, and the fact that a lot of it sort of goes unsaid, you just feel it. Like, I knew immediately that Inusuke was going to grant Tanjiro's wish just because he respects the hell out of him, as he should. There's something about Tanjiro that makes him impossible to ignore. You just sort of have to fall into his gravity, and I think maybe there's something about the fact that he's totally self-sustaining. He never seems to compromise himself. You know, he never seems to do anything other than what makes him strongest in that given moment, and so it feels like other people who are less sure will always kind of get dragged into his gravity, if that makes sense. And you get the sense that Tanjiro would never ask anyone to do anything he wouldn't do himself. Like, if Inusuke didn't oblige his wish at that moment, Tanjiro is somehow finding that last ounce of strength and getting up and doing it himself. And it's a lot harder to accomplish than it is to say out loud, but like being that sort of self-sustaining force and also having the capability to get what you want without ever needing to weaken yourself to get something out of others or facilitate some sort of transaction gives you the ultimate leverage. It gives you the power of choice. There's a real freedom in that, I think. And that's a really admirable and desirable thing for an outside observer. Here you have these two warriors capable of the phenomenal, leaning on each other and one sort of gaining perspective from the other. You know, Tanjiro is a little bit farther ahead than Inusuke in terms of worldview, I would say. And so they make a really breathtaking duo. And then poor Zenitsu is not racking up any social points with them. That's okay. Maybe that will come later. That would be cool. <laughs> Even now. Always. Always about breathing. No rest for the heroes. That's another one of his skills. The ability to believe the best when there's no evidence to the contrary. Oh, and here he comes, just sliming his way out, like the envy insect that he is. He had a pretty great run. <laughs> you became a train. I mean, not many people can say that. I mean, among others, but yeah. Rengoku did set this plan into action, and held down five cars by himself. <laughs> yeah, sleep actually helped him. It's a colourful cast, you know, what, what can we say? Yeah. Yeah. I know he's not dead because he's not giving his tragic backstory yet. Yeah, he's the man. <laughs> yeah. Mask coming in really handy, actually, as a plot device. Poetic justice. If it makes you feel any better. Literally every Demon Slayer of Lower Rank dies, so... Well, it's not looking good for him right now. It looks like he's gone. Would it be wrong to have hope? 
全集中の常駐ができる。Ever cheerful。常駐は柱への第一歩だからな。柱までは一万歩あるかもしれないがな。Tantra is the kind of guy that will take those ten thousand steps gladly without complaint. 呼吸の精度を上げるんだ。At a moment like this, train harder. 血管がある。破れた血管だ。Can we do inner, inner healing through breathing? Hanjo is a great student. He'll do it. This opens up some crazy doors. This is like blood water healing bending. That's amazing. <laughs> Who knew? You know, like all this anime, I watched all these shows, Kamehameha's and power ups and one punches, psychic attacks.、Uh, No, it was just breathing. It was breathing the whole time. I actually feel like there's something super important in there, though. Like, man, there are just so many things I want in life. Yet, there are so many really basic things I haven't sorted out for myself. <laughs> Here's a thought experiment that I think, if fixated on too much, is sort of non productive because it'll drive you crazy. But it's something that comes to mind now and then. And I feel like, at a very basic level, there's something in there. And that's the question of, like, what could you do or what could you build in yourself that would be the biggest contributor to all other things that came after that? It's kind of like in RPGs or video games where you can buy stats or you can choose abilities. There are certain abilities that make the acquisition. Of all other abilities easier. So, for example, one of the first ones that people will go for is the gain more experience perk or whatever, right? Or something like take less damage, you know, take 5% less damage or something, because that'll last throughout the entire playthrough. I wonder what those things are for life. You know, what are the things that would be of maximum benefit to focus on first to get out of the way, therefore making all other things easier? And I feel like the mistake I make a lot of the time or have made a lot is I reach for things that are sort of high in terms of they're very directly what I'm going for, but very low in terms of how much systemic benefit they have. So, for example, I'll look For things that are more material over things that are more deeper and of substance. You would imagine that squaring things away with yourself, dealing with anxieties, being able to accept things you can't really change, understanding your own values, practicing working through fear or thinking clearly through fear, there are a lot of things that are sort of immediately available, but for some reason are less satisfying to think about because they're they're farther removed from the things we're desiring, like love and money and fun and things like that. But it's not hard to imagine that if those things were mastered early, all of the other things would fall into place in a really nice way or may even be unnecessary.、It's It's really difficult to sort of have that focus, I think. But seeing things like the breathing, it kind of brings that, that feeling back. Like the best focus long term is probably going to be sort of these internal self regulatory things. That's a really cool focus, too. Reminiscent of、uh, Endeavor in My Hero Academia. Take it one step at a time. And also, he's sort of more practical than Tanjiro in a way. Although this is him taking charge himself. Yeah, it does feel good, right? To like lean on someone. Oh no. Oh no. Who in the. About that resting up and taking it easy. I feel like that's not on the menu today. I <laughs> like this. On the back, looking over the shoulder behind you, mid card. Upper three! He's got a similar expression that Rengoku has calm enjoyment. Targeting the kid who's down. Alright. I love that attack, it's so beautiful. Yeah, that's not that's not it. Not gonna do it. Because he's a dick. <laughs> There's not much explanation needed. <laughs> oh, that's harsh words from Rengoku. Tanjiro's fighting spirit is embarrassing in comparison. Akaza. This is Akaza. Oh, this old chestnut. I mean, like, it's sort of hard to understand in this show what it actually means to be a demon. Or, I should say, it seems like there's actually a pretty wide range of what's possible with demonhood. Like, we know that Nezuko got powers and is fine, although she lost her ability to speak. It would be a shame if Rengoku couldn't umai his way through life. But, like, it, it's not totally inconceivable that Rengoku could become a demon and be amazing, you know what I mean? Though, of course, it's not really about the practical elements of demonhood, but more about the fact that part of Rengoku's strength is his independence, and you don't want to be relying on Wuzan's blood or whatever. You don't want to make deals with people like this. He knows what he is. 
I don't know, I'd kind of like to live longer. I think it would be beautiful anyway. That's true. That's definitely true. That much is also clear. Oh, he's like upgrading his skill tree in real time. Destructive death, not just death. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fantastic. Whoa. I couldn't even cut through his hand. Well, he already explained it, you just didn't listen. There's more than one kind of power. Nice. Not that it matters. I'm getting a little nervous here. Cause... The odds are just so stacked in his favor, being that he can regenerate. What do you see? What do you see? You see a way to victory, right? Nice! <laughs> Flame shield! You don't see that very often. It's a good thing we've established Rengoku's speed. Yeah, we don't have long range attacks, do we? Oh no, he's playing with him! What is happening? Oh, he's slicing him up. Ooh. No fear at all. Unlike me, who has a lot of fear. Blazing universe. It must be horrifying for the two to watch this, because Rengoku is just so far out of their league. Right. And Rengoku is struggling. It's one of those things, right, in shows where they're like, why aren't you helping? You know, you could just, like, team up and do it. But no. I think the power levels have been so well established in this show. They would be in danger of instant death at all times, and Rengoku would not be able to fight fully. But it also works as a great plot device to have a one-on-one -on -one fight. <laughs> it's all of those things. Tanjiro shares my concern. <laughs> nice. Did he get him? Just the arms. He's doing this with his fists, no less. He's just going through all of them. Blazing Universe again. Booming flame undulation. It's not even landing anymore. Let's get a new one. It's a beautiful attack. There you go, there's your opening. He's just a little bit too fast. No. No. Ugh. Oh no. I don't... His face is... It's different. What? What? It hurts me to watch him. Be no! It hurts me to watch him in fear like this. I don't know how you get out of this. What do you do? Man, it's such a genius move, building up Rengoku like this and having him be this pillar we can lean on. I think I even said that in this episode. Like, oh, it feels so good to lean on someone, finally. But then our support system is getting kind of, I wouldn't say crushed. He's not having a great time. He's not exactly looking so sturdy right now. Very anxious. I can't watch the next episode right now, which is killing me. Yeah, there's no time for a fun fact. This is not the... We're not in the mood. No! <laughs> what is, when even the fun fact... Uh, even the fun fact... Even the fun fact. Tell your secret, we're worried. Surprise. And next episode is the last episode, too. It's really unbelievable. Like, I, I'm a broken record at this point, but I feel like it's just because you gotta say it. The show just keeps surpassing itself with the action. It's been solid this whole arc, but this fight was also incredible. And, you know, the animation's great. The voice acting's great. The effects are great. But I think what takes it to that next level is sort of the emotional stakes and the way it's been set up and the way Rengoku has been so well set up and how much I like him. And how I'm sort of in Tanjiro's shoes. Wanting this to happen, like wanting this teacher-pupil thing to happen. Wanting to believe in, like, this strength of people and humanity and seeing this relationship develop and all of a sudden everything's in jeopardy. So each attack and each drop of blood carries a lot more weight than it usually would.